In this week's roundup, floods in India devastate wildlife, good news for white sharks, a bizarre frog discovered, and scientists debate the state of snow leopards. Starting in India, where rescuers have recovered the carcasses of more than 225 animals after devastating floods hit the country. At least 15 rare rhinos, 185 deer, and one royal Bengal tiger have died after high waters submerged Kaziranga National Park. Staying in India, CCTV cameras captured a rare encounter between a pride of Asiatic lions and cows. It's thought the lions were strolling through the village of Rampar in search of prey, but it seems they bit off more than they could chew with these bovine opponents. Into the ocean with a big win for white sharks. Proposals for a controversial coal off America's east coast have been shelved. Officials are upholding protections for the top predators who are on the rebound after years of population decline. In more fish news, researchers have confirmed anecdotal reports that some fish species are getting smaller. They suspect that warming ocean temperatures are causing some species to increase their metabolic rate. And new research suggests that underwater air guns affect whales from miles away. The guns, which are used to search for oil and gas deposits, are so loud that they could change humpback whales' migratory behavior. On to new species. A new fruit bat found in the rainforests of Papua New Guinea has been named Hamamas, or happy tube-nosed fruit bat, because it has the appearance of a constant smile. The bat's ears and face have led locals to refer to it as the Yoda bat. And a new bizarre frog was discovered in the Western Ghats. The purple amphibian spends life underground where it hunts termites and other insects. The frog has shiny purple skin, a light blue ring around its eyes, and a pointy pig nose. From frogs to big cats, scientists are heavily split about the state of worldwide snow leopards. Some experts say their population has stabilized, while others argue that more work is needed to confirm this. The differences of opinion among scientists have intensified as a downgrading of snow leopards, from endangered to vulnerable, is expected from the IUCN Red List soon. Ever wonder why horses have one toe? A new study suggests that as horses became larger, one big toe provided more resistance to bone stress than many smaller toes. 13 fossilized horse leg bones from a 50 million year old horse relative provided the clues. Routing off with a relic. By studying the remains of the extinct dodo bird, scientists have uncovered secrets about its life cycle. Dodos likely laid eggs in mid-summer, with chicks reaching full size by November. That's it for this week. We want your opinions on these nature news stories. Let us know what you think in the comments below.